What's going on YouTube? Gsn right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the iOS 12.1.4, 12.1.3 and of course 12.2 jailbreak and of course there are new exploits we're going to discuss about because they've been released. But before that you probably know that the iOS 12.2 is still signed for some reason by Apple. Now for those of you who are running the 12.3 downgrade right now to 12.2 if you're interested in jailbreaking because of course there are no publicly available exploits for the iOS 12.3 but for the 12.2 there have been quite a lot of releases lately so you probably remember that the iOS 12.3 was posted back on May 13 and of course it contains quite a lot of vulnerabilities in here that were patched some of them come from a specific person in here called Danny L931 and just a few days ago he said that he's going to post his vulnerabilities and post he did. He posted quote, just uploaded the details and exploits for the vulnerabilities addressed in iOS 12.3. It was a fun project and I hope you enjoy my work. He followed it up with quote, note that launch down can be used to further exploit the system for research purposes. Details will be shared with selected people. And if you go ahead here on the link he posted, these pretty much contains a couple of tools that we can basically use in order to get a better insight on the system. There is first the uh, information about it. He says that this is not a jailbreak, but it might be usable for a jailbreak, though probably a jailbreak will not use it, since if you create a jailbreak, you probably have even better vulnerabilities, for example, TFP0. But his tools in here are very, very interesting. At first, you have the launch down, which basically allows you to run a specific command, which is definitely great. It says in here that it exploits the CVE 2019-8637 to achieve a launch the job submission primitive and implements a shell-like CLI interface on top of it, so this can be used for research purposes, altering system state and triggering additional vulnerabilities. So while this is not very useful for a casual user, it actually is very useful for a jailbreak developer because it allows you to basically run various commands and gives you the possibility to find even more vulnerabilities. And there are more such tools posted in here, even one for patching, which is actually quite good. You probably remember that Meldio had another security researcher posted a kernel heap info leak just a few days ago for a vulnerability that is available on iOS 12.2 and lower so that is actually good because that can be used as well in a jailbreak. However, as I said, no TFP0. And then of course we have the vulnerability from Ned. Ned from Google Project Zero said a few days ago that he's going to publish his bug and of course he did. He said quote, here's the bug, not entirely clear if this is powerful enough alone for TFP0 but I'm continuing to investigate and look for new bugs. And the bug has been posted here on Project Zero, and of course it's available for download by any security researcher. So what this means? Well, the iOS 12.2, 12.1.4 and 12.1.3 are pretty vulnerable at this point, and the jailbreak community is definitely receiving a lot of releases lately for various exploits, but of course by far the most important release is the one by Danny in here, who posted a lot of tools that can be used for patching and for running various commands and of course all these tools are built around his own vulnerabilities that he found on iOS 12.2 and lower. This tool in here can actually be used in order to find even more vulnerabilities and possibly create a jailbreak so this is actually very very good. We went from having no vulnerabilities whatsoever to having even some tools that can aid in finding even more vulnerabilities for a jailbreak. So this is actually quite good, but unfortunately none of these vulnerabilities in here provide the TFP0, which would have rendered a very quick jailbreak. So we still have to wait for either a kernel vulnerability with TFP0, or we need to build TFP0 from the vulnerabilities in here. Now Ned's vulnerability might have potential, he doesn't know for sure for the moment if it's TFP0 ready or not, but this use after free vulnerability might not be enough. However, at this point we do have quite a lot of vulnerabilities for the 12.2 and lower, which definitely is a great thing. But do not update the 12.3. The 12.3 has no public vulnerabilities available, which means that if you stay on it, you're going to be on a non-jailbroken firmware for quite a long time. So yeah, there have been quite a lot of releases and this is actually quite good. We have Denny's vulnerabilities, we have Meldio head vulnerabilities, we have Ned vulnerabilities, and there is also a a vulnerability in PowerD 
from back on iOS 12.1.3. So all these can indeed be used part to part on a jailbreak, but they're not enough for a full-blown jailbreak with Cydia or Cilio. They're just components that can be put together, but of course the puzzle is not complete yet. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I am GSNow. Until the next time, peace out.